Hello everyone, how you doing? Um, this is going to be a rather odd video, or or to answer an odd question, can a hair dryer impeller assembly actually fly itself? And um, I've got quite a few different ones here I'm actually going to test. I'm going to build a rig that um, will hold these in a downward position so they're blowing up. And um, using the lightest things I can think of, I'm going to have it on like a guide system, like a metal bar, and it will it'll ride up it somehow. I haven't built it yet, but I'll figure that out as it when the time comes. And um, I'm going to run these. They're all 12 volt. I'm going to run them, and um, I'm going to overvolt them until they either fly or until they burn themselves out, or f or if they do fly see how long they'll actually go before they end up dying because I'm guessing I'll need to at least double the voltage maybe even triple it and the question is how long can these little uh, motors handle it before she goes so they're gonna they're either gonna fly or they're gonna die trying because I'm not gonna stop until they do but uh, I've got quite a selection here starting with the blower style one it's the only one I've ever had that's an actual blower then we got a little micro one here. I kind of like these impeller designs. They're quite neat. With all the motors, they are 12 volts, and these are all out of hair dryers. Every single one. Nice veins on that one there. Neither they all have plastic impellers. I've never seen a hair dryer with a steel impeller. Well, I have before, actually, but. Um, it was one of those um, like long squirrel cage ones, and it was really old. It was only like 500 watts, so kind of cheap. Have this little one here, not a very big blade on that one. That might struggle to fly. This one here, yeah, some some blades are broken off, so that may struggle a bit. I got this one here. It's a rather large impeller. And lots of veins, but I'm gonna, we're gonna try and do for the ones that I can. Like this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and lighten these up as much as I possibly can, without sacrificing like the the integrity of the shroud around it. Cause I mean, it is only plastic, so I will see what I can do to uh, make them as light as possible. Like I'll knock those little tabs there off. I'll probably grind these off. Anything I can do to lighten them up. Look at this one here. Some crap load of veins on that one. This one may be a good candidate to fly. Big blades, lots of them. This guy here. Now, let's see, this one has a lot of plastic on it. But I don't think this one will get very far because this one, you can see the blades are already cracked on all four of them. And you can see it's been grinding. So. This one will probably grind to death before it ever flies, but uh, we'll find out when the time comes. And we got this fella here. Lots of veins on that one again. Actually, that's an identical one to uh, I think this one here. So yeah, so we'll see if either of those flies. And we got this one. This one's got a, a lot of veins. There must be about, I don't know, about 15, 20 veins on that one. Another another one was got a lot of big blades on it, lots of them. Now this one doesn't have much for plastic at all. And those blades seem fairly. Those seem to be a fairly you know small area where they're attached to the central hub. So I have a feeling the blades might might come off on this one. That'd be the weak spot. As opposed to this one, you can see the blades got a lot of uh, surface area surface area they're attached to. So I don't think the blades will ever fly off that one. You got this one here. I think that's very similar to uh, another one. Maybe this one here. Yeah. So those two are the same. Well almost. Different veins. So I wonder if that'll I wonder how much of a difference that would actually make. Well they having more veins 
or less veins. I mean, that would be heavier because there's more veins. But having more veins, I guess that might mean it might uh, push more air direct directly down or increase the speed. I don't know. But uh, that's what this video is all about. I intend to find out. Here's another one that's got a lot of plastic. I can probably shave off the whole back part here. And a very small, very small fan. Don't know if this one will ever fly. This might be a sit on the ground and burn out to death one. Then we got this one. This is by far the um, widest one. Now this this plastic feels different. This is a harder plastic. It's more it feels more rigid, more robust than the others. It doesn't it's not as flimsy, I don't think. But uh will having uh, bigger water blades make this one more likely to fly? I don't know. Now if you compare it out to this one, you can see it's quite a bit smaller. Again, very small blades. So will they ever produce enough lift to make this lift off? We shall see. You got another one here, lots of veins. Big pointy blades on this one. Not broken, unlike the other one. And this one here, deep veins on that one. Those veins go quite a ways down in that into that plastic uh, shroud there. You, you can see them right through it. So the so basically the vein starts right at the back and it stops, uh, well, right where my thumbnail is. So it's at least half the shroud is the veins and the rest is the impeller. This one might be a good candidate for flight. And another one of those, lots of veins in it. And here's one with the clear blades. It does not have any cracking. So whether this can hand handle you know some high RPMs beyond what it's ready for I don't know and last one up this one here this one actually blows in the opposite direction so I'll have to mount it like this because it actually blows down rather than sucks air through and there's no veins which also means it's lighter because there's less plastic but um, will she fly I don't know but uh, I'm going to each one each one of these individually, you can see there's, there's a good amount there, and there's a dozen or so. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll set a, a build the rig to uh, guide these things if they do fly, and um, start testing. Okay, so I had a bit of an idea. I want to find out how much thrust, or, well, not necessarily thrust, but how much lighter this would be at uh, a certain voltage. So I've rigged up a little system using uh, some threaded rods, an old postage scale, so and uh, some string, a piece of a fine, very fine piece of wire. You can see that copper wire, just to keep it from uh, spinning out of control. And um, so this the string goes around it. And it's actually hanging from it. So if I let off, if I lift this up and put it back down, so with that, when I turn this on, and I will with my battery eliminator here, um, when I turn it on, we'll see just how much lighter this gets. And you guys watching can, you know, have a best guess at do you think, you know, a particular one will fly or not based on how much, um, how much lighter it weighs on the scale. Now this thing I can only put out about 16 volts DC, but, uh, I'll bring it up to 12 and then I'll ramp it up to maximum and, um, you can, um, you know, go from there, whether it'll fly or not, when I uh, put even more voltage to it. So, uh, with that being said, this is the little little one here. It's 64 grams, and I'm going to weigh all these in grams. So, 
So here's 12 volts. There's 10, 11. So there's 12.2. That's that's amps the motor's drawing, half an amp. So 12 volts is down to 58 grams. So I'll ramp it up. Fourteen point eight, fifteen five, sixteen point seven, sixteen point eight. That's at maximum. So it dropped down to forty six grams. So uh, I'll set up the next one and do the same thing. All right, we got the next one. Um, what I did between that. Uh, the first one in this video is I've uh, I've actually labeled them. So this this one was number one. A little mark there. This one, this one is number two. So I just labeled them so you guys keep in track and you know post in the comments you know what number you think will uh, fly and and all that sort of thing. And there there's quite a few. It goes all the way up to 17. So there's uh, actually more than I thought. But anyway, this one's number two. Starts off at 96 grams. So bring it up to 12 volts. Seven, eight, ten, eleven. Right, there's 12 volts. This motor's drawing 1 amp, 12 volts. So I'll bring up 16. Fourteen point three. Fifteen. 15.69 and we're down to 60 64 grams so I'll do the next one so that that's is not quite half but you know it's it's getting there and only 16 volts it it, it may be possible for some of these to actually fly Right here's number three. This one is 108 grams. Right, there's 12.5 volts. A little under an amp. And crank it up. 14, 15.4, 16 volts. It's down to 72 grams. Drawing 1.2 amps. Alright, here's number 4. The blades aren't very, don't have very much of a pitch on this one, so I think this one might struggle. But uh, anyway, it weighs 84 grams. I should point out when I do intend to put a lot of voltage to this and, uh, you know, max them out. Um, I won't be using alligator clamps because they're adding weight. I'll just end up soldering some uh, small wires right onto the terminals and go from there to uh, minimize the weight and give these things the best chance of flying. Alright, so let's see what this one can do. There's 11 volts. There's 12.04 volts. 0 0.7 amps.
14 volts. Sixteen point two volts down to fifty eight grams and just over an amp. Here's fan number five. This is the only one that actually blows out the shroud um, away from the motor rather than sucks in over the motor. Whether if that'll make a difference on whether it can make itself fly or not, I don't know. This one is 76 grams. It's 11 volts. It's 12.48 12 volts. 0 0.9 amps. Thirteen point nine. Fourteen point five. Fifteen. Fifteen point nine volts. And we're down to fifty four grams. This motor is drawn the highest amperage of uh, all the ones so far, 1.2 amps. All right, here's number six. I got high hopes for this one because the impeller is quite large and it kind of bows out in the middle, so it actually might be compressing the air a little bit, increasing uh, the thrust. So, uh, We'll see how many uh, grams this can take off. So it's 102 grams. It's 11 and a half volts. There's 12.17 at almost 0.7 amps. Fourteen and a half. Fifteen point eight. Sixteen point three four volts at the one amp. And down to seventy six grams. That's pretty good. I don't think it's any more than uh, the other ones are taken off, but it's you know still not bad. All right, here's number seven. This is the largest impeller of all of them. Maybe it'll uh, give an advantage over the other ones. I don't know. But it's uh, 92 grams. Ten volts. Eleven and a half. So there's 12 volts, 74 grams, 0.7 amps. Well, let's ramp her up a little bit. It's 13.7 volts. Fourteen point nine. Fifteen point two. There's 16.11 volts, 1.1 amps. You know, that's a pretty good drop. That's under 50 grams. This one may actually hold the promise. And there's actually a lot of air coming out of the bottom of this one. My vote's on this one, I think. All right, here's uh, number eight. Weighs in at 114 grams. Ten 
10 volts. There's 12.5 volts, 0.8 amps. Fifteen volts, sixteen, sixteen point one volts, drawn one point one amp. This one didn't drop down quite as much as some of the other ones. I don't know about this one, but uh, on to the next. Here's number nine. This is one of the heavier of the bunch, weighing it uh, one hundred and thirty-four grams. But it's got fairly big blades on it, so I wonder if that'll make up the difference with an extra amount of thrust. Seven volts. Ten. Twelve point two. You know it is. The grams are coming down pretty quick. Point eight amps. Fourteen volts, fifteen, sixteen, down to eighty four grams. You know, that's actually not bad. Sixteen point three volts, one point one amps. There may actually be hope for this one. It's actually quite a bit of thrust. All right, here's number 10. This one's got a very small impeller and it's not very heavy, coming in at 90 grams. But I think that small impeller is going to is going to hurt this one. There's eight and a half volts. 10. 10. Right, there's 12 volts. Not a big drop. Only 0.6 amps as well. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen point six volts. Almost one amp. But its grams didn't drop off that much. So, unless this is one hell of a motor, this one may not fly. Number 11. Again, it's got big blades and it's kind of domed, so that might increase airflow. I guess I should uh, tell you what it weighs before I turn it on. It's 122 grams. There's 12 volts, already drawing an amp, and 96 grams, and they're up, 13 and a half, 14, 15.4, 15.9 volts, drawing quite a bit of amperage, just one, almost 1.4 amps. But we're down to 76 grams, so that's good. That's that's approaching half its mass. Might be hope for that one actually flying. All right, got number 12 set up. Now this is the one with the two broken off fan blades, so it'll have reduced airflow. But um, I guess we'll see what it can do. It's not very heavy either, coming in at only 78 grams. So let's fire up 12 volts. See how much it drops. There's 12.3 volts, 0.7 amps. And we're at 64 grams. Fourteen point four volts. 
16. So we're down to 52 grams. 116 volts, 1 amp. It may still actually be able to fly even though it's missing two blades. We'll find out. Alright, number 13. Coming in at 96 grams. So let's see what this one can do. There's 12 volts. Down to 82 grams, 0.8 amps. Fifteen volts, sixteen, so sixty-eight grams, that's sixteen volts, one point one amp. Right here's the very small number fourteen, coming in at only eighty-two grams. All right, there's 12.3 volts, 0.6 amps, 14 and a half volts, 16 volts, 50. 50 grams, that's 16 volts, 0.9 amps. It's actually pushing up more air than I would have expected. That may be a good candidate for flight. Yes. And number 15, another bulky one, coming in at 100 grams. Nine volts. 11. 12.2 volts, half an amp. Current ain't very high on this one. 13 volts, 14, 15, 16.4, 16.5. Uh, I'm actually reaching 17 volts on this one. Right on the dot. And 0.8 amps. Good amount of airflow. But that's, you know, starting at 100 grams, narrowing down to 66. You know, it's, that's getting near halfway. I'm surprised it's actually doing so well, considering how bulky this one is. Another bulky one. This is number 16. Coming in at 118 grams. But again, like the other one, it's got some fairly, fairly big um, blades on it with uh, quite a bit of pitch. And there's 12 volts. 106 grams, half an amp. This one's a bit noisy, this one. 14 volts. 15, 16, 17.12 volts down to 84 grams, 0.7 amps. Again, quite a bit of thrust, but it's big. All right, number 17, coming in at 110 grams. Another domed one, lots of blades. And there's 12.3 volts, already over an amp. Fourteen and a half volts. 15.7, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 16.5, 
Max set at 15.75. 72 grams at 1.4 amps. This one draws a lot of amperage. Alright, here's number 18. This is the one that's got the cracked blades, so I may not be able to get much of this one at all, but uh, it comes in at 124 grams. So there's 12 volts. Half an amp. So I wonder at what point those blades will start scraping the sides. 14 volts, 15, I'm starting to hear it, 16 volts, oh it's not happy, 16 half volts, 1 amp, and she's screaming. Yeah, I don't think this one's ever going to fly, be a good burnout though. <laughs> and finally number 19, the only blower style one of the lot, also the heaviest, coming in 146 grams. I think this will be the least likely one that will ever fly, but it may surprise us. Alright, there's 12 volts, 1.2 amps. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Actually, that's maxed out. So, one hundred and twenty-two grams, fifteen point three volts, one point six amps. Eh, I don't. I still don't think it'll fly. I mean, we're. I'm gonna have to double, maybe even triple the voltage to get that down to zero. So yeah, I think that's the least likely one that'll ever fly. But uh, so, so yeah, that's that's all 19 of them. So, I mean, so this is the point where you know you might want to make a comment below, you know, guessing which ones you think may actually fly. Because uh, coming up next will be the actual flight tests with a much much higher voltage. So um, yeah, I'll set that up and um, we'll see which ones actually do fly.